Hi, Todd Warren here in the Forecast Center with a look at our weather week ahead here on ArcleTexHomePage.com as well as the ArcleTexHomePage.com app. It looks like an off and on rather soggy week for the Arkletex. You can see the frontal system to our south, area of low pressure in the southwestern Gulf of Mexico. All that's going to kind of move towards the north very slowly in the next 24 hours. And as a result, we will see rain on the increase across the region. Rumble of thunder, a possibility, but obviously nothing as far as severe weather with temperatures staying so cool. As we will see this low move past, the rain will come to an end tomorrow night. We'll take a break and then more rain on the way for Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. And we could have some severe severe weather on the way for Saturday. Meantime, temperatures tonight uh, will be rather chilly. And in case you're wondering, look at these temperatures. Are we going to see all rain? The answer is likely yes, as we'll see lows in the mid to upper 30s across most of the area. Some low 40s possible further to the south down towards Mansfield. Natchitoches will be in the low 40s. You can see the 41 degrees in Mansfield. Daytime highs tomorrow, again, ranging from 39 Texarkana, Idabel to 44 in Shreveport, 50 for the daytime high uh, in Natchitoches as the uh, rain will be on the increase starting tonight across the area. So here's a look at Robin's sort of future cast. You can see we do have a few high clouds over us this afternoon, which will give way to a lowering of the clouds and the increase of the rain here moving through tonight, going through tomorrow. Expect periods of rain to continue. Again, a rumble of thunder possible, but nothing uh, too strong as far as any thunderstorm activity. Look for that rain to gradually taper off as we go through Tuesday night. And by Wednesday morning, most of the rain should be to our east. We will start off Wednesday with lots of clouds. We will close Wednesday with the clouds trying to temporarily decrease in between disturbances here. And then again, more rain on the way for Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, as I mentioned. Let's take you into the uh, middle part of the work week here. Going into Wednesday night and Thursday, you can see more rain on the way, especially a southeast half the area for Thursday. That rain will begin to taper off, and then we'll see more rain begin to develop uh, moving northward into the area of Friday. So again, Thursday, Friday looking rather rather soggy as well. With uh, the heaviest totals here, this is a, a look at uh, the numbers from Futurecast showing that generally speaking, uh, three quarters of an inch, maybe an inch, inch and a half possible with this first round of rain, and we will add more to that Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. As I mentioned, we'll show you the final number here with another longer range model here in a second. But here's the upper level pattern showing you the first disturbance moving across. We'll take a break Wednesday. Here comes another impulse with more rain for Thursday, more rain for Friday, and then the main system finally moves through. And given the configuration of this, it's going to be much warmer. We'll see temperatures Saturday probably in the 60s and 70s. That'll set the stage for a possibility for some strong thunderstorms, especially across the northern half of the area Saturday morning into the afternoon. That will clear, and we could see some more rain to begin next week, say late Monday, Monday night, and Tuesday of next week. Now, as far as rainfall potentials, take you uh, through through the week ahead, add up all the rain, and you can see models showing, uh, generally speaking, two to three inches, could have a few totals which exceed three inches. Uh, again, if you add up the rain from the three disturbances which are on the way from now through uh, the weekend. So all in all, looks like a kind of a dreary week ahead with quite a bit in terms of rain. We'll see our best chance of rain tomorrow. Uh, a little bit of sunshine late Wednesday, chance of rain Thursday, Friday, maybe a few rumbles of thunder Friday. Friday night, Saturday, especially Saturday morning, Saturday afternoon, possibility for some strong to severe thunderstorms, hence the high weather impact there. And then going through Sunday, Monday looking better as we will see uh, temperatures moderate. Notice the warmest days when we will see those thunderstorms around Saturday, temperatures could be well into the 70s with lows in the 60s, telling you that it will be rather muggy outside as well. In Texarkana, you're looking at, again, pretty good shot force and thunderstorms Saturday. You probably will have a better chance for severe weather than we will in Shreveport, as you'll see temperatures tomorrow, 39, 50s Wednesday, Thursday, 60s Friday, 70s Saturday, and then you'll cool back down close to 60 by the middle part of next week. So I don't know. It looks like we're kind of settling into a rather wet week ahead with rain tomorrow, more towards the end of the work week, and some strong severe thunderstorms possible as we look ahead to Saturday.